Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing the ASUS ROG 6 GR703ZXC in this really big box right here. As you can see, this is a really huge box. So, time to take a look inside. This is the ROG Sabirus gaming headset. Oh, I'll just open the headphones first. The headset itself comes with an inline microphone so you can I think use it on the go actually. Some splitter cables for the microphone audio. Right here we have the detachable uh, boom microphone and it fits in like this. You can just remove it whenever you want. Next we have the backpack to help you carry the laptop around. It's quite a large pack to hold a 17.3 inch notebook. Nothing really special about it, just a usual like, couple of compartments, zippers, and seems to be a good amount of padding for such a large laptop. And finally, for the notebook itself, take a look what's inside the box first before looking at the laptop. It comes with gaming mouse. This is the ASUS GT300 version 2. It has a 5000 dpi sensor. And it's a right-handed mouse with a two side buttons. Over here we have the power cord. Unsurprisingly, a really huge power adapter. So for the laptop itself, this is the um, the first laptop in the world to have Ryzen 7 desktop CPU and the Radeon RX 580 4 gig GPU. It's actually uh, not that thick, considering that they're using a desktop class components. It's an 8-core, 16-thread CPUs. One of the main strengths of the notebook is actually it's a multi-threaded performance. And there's no mechanical keyboard though, so it's a normal membrane keyboard, but it actually feels quite good to type on. On the left, you can see um, it has one mini display port connector and one HDMI connector, and two USB 3.0 ports on the right and an SD card reader. So one of the new design features on the notebook is actually that the ROG logo and the two accents at the side are actually backlit and usually that's not the case. Uh. I think now we're gonna like, take a closer look at the cooling system and how ASUS actually keeps the desktop components running cool. I'm gonna open up the notebook. There are actually uh, 10 screws holding the bottom panel in place and uh, once you remove them, it pops off quite easily. So the laptop has a total of 8 heat pipes for both the CPU and the GPU. The Ryzen 7 1700 here is actually uh, it's socketed, so um, technically if you want, you can replace it. You can, you can upgrade it yourself, uh. but um, that's probably not advisable because anything above it already has a 95W uh, TDP, so you might run into some uh, throttling issues. The two fans here, yeah, you'll notice that they're actually uh, asymmetrical so the smaller fan um, is actually tied, tied more closely to the GPU and you'll see that the two are the both CPU and GPU are actually not cooled uh, independently they, they share uh, the heat pipes are shared between the two and I think to notice is the use of just uh, one RAM stick so that's actually single channel memory here you won't notice the difference in most games and it does give you um, an extra slot should you want to upgrade but it would have been nice to see dual channel memory right from the outset. Uh. This here is the M.2 SSD and the hard drive is right here so um, the storage is quite easily upgradable and of course the battery is right here but battery life on this notebook is actually uh, pretty bad because the Ryzen CPU does not have an integrated GPU so you're running off the Radeon RX 580 all the time and it takes up quite a lot of power. And yeah, that's about it for the inside of the notebook. Okay, and that concludes our unboxing of the ROG Strix laptop. It costs $2698 and uh, it's available in to buy in stores now. So, till next time guys. <laughs>